Shiraz Reddy describes himself as the boy on the park bench, but that doesn't mean that this fashion and lifestyle publicist is content with being the eternal spectator. You could say that he was born ready to express an opinion, and he shared his views with Karishma on her first ever Mela assignment. I love buying and supporting local, and I love that Cape Town has so much to offer when it comes to local creatives and especially local designers. Someone else who shares my passion and who is no stranger to the Cape Town fashion scene is Shiraz Reddy. When Karishma arrived, Shiraz was wearing his stylist hat, so to speak. Hi Shiraz! Hey, how are you? It's so lovely to meet Aww, you. It's so nice to meet you. What are you busy with at the moment? So much Karishma, like I don't even know what's going on, but this beautiful location and we decided let's do a little bit of an autumn winter shoot. Um, some great local designers, some beautiful models and Kanye Siengo. Well, it looks fantastic. Yeah. So I'll let you finish up and I'll chat to you in a bit. I'm just going to sneak a look. Awesome, please <laughs> do. <laughs> He's as meticulous in detailing a pose as he is when assessing the look. As you can see, the hat on and Chloe over there. Um, I and love then, that. I know, me too. But my fave has to be that tie that La Salle is wearing over there. And that's a wrap for look one, guys. Let's get to wardrobe. So. Shiraz, yeah. how did you find your way to fashion? And has it always been your first love? Um, I would have to say it has definitely been my first love. My mom and dad always ensured that I look the part. You know, me and my siblings. And I mean, I'm one of four. So you can just imagine all four kids <laughs> looking the part when going out. And how did you turn your passion for fashion into a career? A little bit by chance, but also just being really hungry for success. Um, I mean, I studied PR uh, and, and I was very fortunate when I moved to Cape Town a few years ago to, to work in fashion PR. But at the same time, I knew that I needed to do more. You know, I'm, I'm all about not just being behind the computer or pushing paper. I want to be hands on. I want to be in the action. And I always say fashion is my passion and I've made my passion a career. Can you show me more of what you love? I'm dying to see your next look. Actually, I've got just a thing for you, so let me, let me show you. Okay. <laughs> After a sweltering summer, Shiraz sees neutral tones featuring on the palette for this winter season. This looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Shiraz, what inspires you as a stylist? You know what? So much. But if I had to choose one thing that inspires me, it will have to be living in the city and street style. And also just the, the amazing South African designers that we have. What are some of your favorite local labels and why would you encourage people to buy local? My favorite local designers yes. would have to be Msukizi Mabena. Absolutely amazing stuff, both ladies and, and men's wear. Um, and then obviously the likes of Gavin Roger, Jacques Lagrange Couture. And, and those are the people that I would go to, um, you know, when, when I'm looking for something new that, that's fresh, but also proud. South African. Shiraz believes in leading by example and is frequently seen cutting a dashing figure alongside local celebs at A-list events. His next location was chosen so that the outfits would pop out when viewed against the berry toned background. You're a man of many talents. Tell me a bit more about that. I work for a media house and, and I'm doing social media management and lots of PR tasks on a daily basis. Um, but then also I write a blog called The Boy on the Park Bench. You I had just moved to Cape Town. I was literally on a bench in a park and I needed a way to just voice my opinion on certain things. Menswear, menswear trends, lifestyle news, and, and that's what The Boy on the Park Bench is all about. Now I'm really jealous that everyone else got to be a part of the photo shoot. Is it my turn yet? Actually it is. I've got the perfect thing for you, a whole rail. Should we go? Yes, let's go. Being an 80s baby, you love 80s fashion. Yeah. If you've fallen in love with a certain decade or a certain element of a trend, how can you incorporate that into your wardrobe without feeling dated? Well, you know, it's all about taking like key elements out of that decade. And I mean, I am inspired by the 80s. I was born in the 80s. Um, but also it's where my, my love of fashion really started to see my mom get all dressed up. And then, for example, like this black eyed, you know, pleated skirt. It's a great way um, to incorporate an element from that era. I mean, the pleats were in pleated skirt, pleated pants. Um, it's just a cool modern take and on the 80s and incorporate it into your look. But I have just the thing for you. This cute little black crop top that I think it's really, really chic. Uh, it's got the zip detail, it's got, you know, the ripple effect in the front, the frill on the arm, but then the skirt. Oh, it's just all the jazz and drama that you need for a good night out. And so I think that's gonna be great to me. And I actually think you should slip into that. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh, 
That is absolutely yeah. amazing. I love this. What do you think? I love the skirt. Um, you know, I love the ripple effect and I love how it does like a little bit of a erosion to the side, keeping a little bit of a, you know, an opening in the front and also the belt accentuating the waist. Uh, being so little, I love that. I definitely <laughs> need a little bit of a cinch in the waist. And you wear it really well. <laughs> this top is amazing. Thank you so much for spending the day with Mela. Anytime. I love playing dress up so we can hang out every day, all day. Oh, you're such <laughs> a star. Thank you. No, thank you.